okay so uh, upon your request um, I went to do the test that you described even though the load has nothing to do with the inverter itself or the operation of the inverter otherwise that would be totally wrong to judge that any kind of a load would have impact on uh, transfer over from the grid to the uh, uh, battery or solar or having to do with the grid being connected or not connected be, be, grid being connected or not connected should have not any influence none on the functionality of the inverter itself so it should do the transfer from grid to battery or solar without any doubt without any issues because I'm um, I mean I know the topology and I know that I had this kind of MPP solars running all over the places I have installed them like 20 of those over the years I had none of the issues with with the transfers also uh, had this uh, your models so this is the ASUN as well this 5 kilowatt model was functioning up until this point to load or to power all the loads in the house uh, and had none of the issues basically this is the first inverter I'm having this kind of an issue and uh, this kind of behavior and this cannot be uh, uh, the case that the load is impacting anything in the inverter if that would be the case then inverter itself would be badly flowed uh, or badly designed which well then basically makes it a really bad inverter uh, just to show you uh, I came here and to, to record the uh, what happens now uh, when you said that I should disconnect the load but okay I'm not probably gonna disconnect the load because uh, the house the whole house is powered now uh, over it I will probably do it uh, later on because there are some significant load now on, on, on the inverter it's like 42% uh, uh, of the load something uh, uh, 4 kilowatts or something is being powered by it uh, which is not a problem but uh, let me show you one one other thing that happens. Uh, so, which I just figured out. Uh, I haven't I haven't been figured, uh, figuring it out previously. But let me just go to the. Okay, you see the, the the frequency now. The frequency, the output frequency is 50 hertz. Okay, and this is fine. So, the, the 50 hertz is is uh, uh, fine. The output uh, voltage is 230 volts, and this is without anything on the input side being connected okay on the input side there's the ground uh, which uh, goes basically here this is the ground wire uh, on the uh, common uh, bus bar and then the zeros are coming from from this side although those, those are all connected in the main fuse box on there uh, but uh, nonetheless so I have the zero wire I mean coming here zero is the the the, the zero coming back so if, if you see the output zero is going also there so this is the uh, sorry no this is the output zero this is the output from the inverter zero this is the zero that should be coming back the same thing as from the grid however uh, it is now disconnected you see there is a RCD switch here uh, the RCD switch I, I, I thought of installing it uh, just to have a two pole switch uh, in order to test if uh, this would work if I switch both poles uh, so the line and the negative at the same time immediately would that imp impact the inverter now it's off if, if you see it now the, the whole RCD switch is off okay and now it functions properly okay so now it's uh, the output is 50 Hertz let me show you what happens when I just switch on the zero so so basically just the phase uh, the the negative or the neutral line sorry neutral line uh, if I if I switch it on okay switching it on 50 Hertz uh, and then now just falls down to 40 Hertz again it synchronizes to itself somehow probably the switch uh, if I would to connect the the, the uh, line wire now it would have say have the same impact impact as previously and look what happens it detects the input check out the blinking the blinking uh, 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 phase wire and look at the output Hertz output Hertz is constantly on 41 40 uh, correcting I, I guess this is the minimum at which it tries to uh, 
correct itself and then not going below that but as you see if I go to now to the input okay the output is 230 volts and the input as, I'm not sure what the input okay see the, the input is 230 volts as well which is not the case because nothing's there okay 230 it detects itself <laughs> this that's that's kind of uh, the thing that I'm talking about and if I simply disconnect the, the, the zero now okay sorry bam everything fine and we should now go back to the okay output hertz goes back to 50 hertz so not connected to any kind of a load issue or anything it's just inverter either firmware or the relay that you heard clicking inside when I connected the line wire is simply having a design flow or something wrong with it okay I would I would assume that it's a firmware issue but I could be wrong because I never took apart any of the 8 kilowatt versions whereas I have uh, repaired many of those MPP solars uh, and, and uh, the 5 kilowatt versions that you sell from Voltronic so yeah